Hi, this is Brian Oliva at Gethsemane Music. I've got an update regarding the issues I was having with the Moog Muse. The bottom line is that uh, my use is fine. The issues I'm having are all related to issues that will be corrected in future firmware updates. First, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, watched my original video and responded in the comments and on uh, YouTube and all the Facebook groups that they saw it in. That helped me find out uh, straight away that the problem I was having with the patch is universal. Uh, that patch acts up pretty much for everybody at this point. And regarding the clocking issues, uh, I wasn't able to get a whole lot of help because most of you are using uh, USB and MIDI out of a DAW, and very few people uh, that responded at least uh, are using uh, CV to clock anything. However, uh, something kind of amazing happened a couple days ago. Uh, two days ago, I received an email from Joe Richardson, the uh, president of Moog Music, who uh, saw my video and uh, was concerned about my concerns, and put me in touch with two of his staff uh, that work on the Muse out of Asheville and, and other places, I guess. Yesterday, both of those guys contacted me directly to let me know what they were working on and uh, you know, how they interpreted uh, what was going on with mine in particular, and... Uh, Considering that uh, those guys are located in Asheville with all the stuff that's going on down there with the hurricane, uh, they have much bigger problems, you know, like trying to find roads and hoping their houses are still intact and cleaning up and just trying to get Asheville back from being an island. Uh, you know, it's pretty pretty bad down there still. So the fact that I got a response that quickly is absolutely amazing. Just based on that alone, I'm giving Moga a rating of six stars out of five just for their response, uh, and they came to me. I didn't have to go to them. So I still consider that pretty amazing. Uh, details of what they're doing with the Muse, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about here, but I will uh, put the more detailed explanation in the comments on the video. But bottom line, the, uh, the patch problem is due uh, to latency. It's part of the uh, mod matrix uh, some patches have very complex mod matrices, which right now are overtaxing the CPU, and there are firmware updates underway that should correct all that pretty quickly. Uh, with the clocking issues, the reason it's behaving strangely for me, not necessarily for the guys that use USB or, uh, or MIDI, is that uh, step advance for the CV has not been implemented yet, and that's the part that allows it to start and stop and change tempo on the fly, and that's pretty much what I'm looking for. That also will be implemented in a future update. Now, the updates may not happen overnight just because of everything going on in Nashville right now, but they are working on it. They are pretty close to releasing them, so hopefully in the near future we'll see some updates uh, to the firmware that will take care of all my concerns and, and hopefully a lot of the stuff you guys have been seeing as well. So if you haven't returned your Muse yet, hang on to it because... Uh, very shortly, it should be in uh, much better shape and uh, yeah, ready to move forward. Anyway, that's uh, all I've got for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. When the firmware drops, I'll be back to uh, let you know how it all worked out. Take care.